and welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Today, we're gonna be looking at uh, AMA linking in Avid, how it works, but this is gonna be a two-part of video. So the next part of the video is gonna be moving into how do we reconnect proxy media in Resolve, okay? Up to its original card uh, native structure or, or transcoded high res. Okay, the way that Avid works is that, um, well, you can see here that we've got a couple of folders. We've got media, and inside media, I've got AMA linked to do not use. I've got card one, two, and three with an AMA on the end. And we've got transcoded one, two, and three. So these are essentially the same. Let's have a look at card one. Card one in AMA, you can see we've got clips, and we've got the camera codec here. It's ABC long gop. Um, and the little icon is the film strip with the two little connecting squares here, which means that it's linked media. They're sim links. They're, it's just a path going from my drive into Avid. It's not been converted to Avid Ready Media. Now, if we go to the transcoded, go to card one. Now, of course, Avid likes transcoded media. Certainly the DNX structure as well uh, works much better. You can see that we've got the same structure here, the same cards. Um, the film strip is changed, which now indicates that it's Avid Ready Media, and we have a codec of DNX85, okay? So that's the codec that we're going to use. I'd prefer to go to DNX36. It would make this uh, demo a little bit simpler. You'd see more difference between the proxy and the uh, original, but um, my system for some reason doesn't have DNX36 in there. I don't know why. Um, so you can see that we've got the same bin, AMA, ingested here and then transcoded. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I've created my card bins. You can see in card two, I've got my AMA there as well. And in my transcoded, I've got my transcoded of those AMAs. So now I wanna to go to card three AMA. I want to import, I wanna go to source browser, and I'm just gonna find my media in here. Okay, original. Good, so there's original card. Good. And we now have our media. So Avid is just trying to pick that up now. There we go. And we've got some card media in here. Good. Um, I'm just gonna put in just three shots. I don't need the whole card for this demo. And you can see down here, I've got a link, okay? Two different things, link and import. Link will link the media in, Avid linked, or uh, legacy AMA, Avid Media Access, or import, and you can transcode it to a different codec. Now, I am going to link in, and I'm going to hit link, and those three clips will automatically be populated into the bin. I can close that down now, and there is our AMA LinkedIn media. Open it up, and there we go, good. And we can see the card codec here, ABC long gop, okay. Now, what I want to do is transcode that to Avid Ready Media. So I'm going to highlight all three, right click, and I'm going to go to consolidate transcode, I'm going to hit transcode, I'm going to choose my drive, and I'm going to choose the codec. Now, I'd prefer this to be um, DNX36, but we don't seem to have it in the list, but you know, there you go. Um, we could choose Apple ProRes Proxy, and maybe actually we'll go with that. Let's see how this works. So, click on that, and we're going to hit transcode. Okay. Those files have been transcoded in, and now we can see that we have the three duplicate clips, the icon has changed, and the codec has changed. So it's Avid Ready Media now. Um, let's just open up card three of the transcoded, and the way that you do this is just pick them up and drag them in, close down the AMA, because you don't need that anymore. Um, and I will always label it do not use. So we don't want the editor to use that linked media, okay? You can remove that folder, actually, or bins from the project, uh, sometimes I quite like just to have it there just in case because traditionally when you're conforming up in an avid sense you would need to bring these cards back in um, to reconnect but we're not going to reconnect in avid we're going to reconnect and uh, conform up in resolve which is the next part of this video okay we have our AMA transcoded ProRes proxy in the card 3 bin which is exactly what we want great that's the end of the video it's very short and very sweet um, this shows the differences between AMA linked media and transcoded media. The next part of this video will be reconnecting these transcoded clips up to higher resolution or back to the camera native footage. Really hope you enjoyed the video. 
and hit subscribe and for more videos from me. Thank you very much.